Hey everybody, Galusia here bringing you another Pokemon trading card game opening and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review of the new tins. Getting away from the battle styles for just a moment, uh, I've got three of the five new tins. When I got to Target, uh, which I've shown my haul in some previous uh, videos, they were almost out of tins, uh, so I just grabbed what I could. And so I've got this guy here, and I've got this cutie, and then I got this guy, and this one, unfortunately, you can probably, yeah, you can even see it on camera, a little bit of a dent. So when I open this one, I'm going to try to fix the dent a little bit, but it was the only one that was left of this character. So, you know, if I found it again, I would probably buy it again to get one that's not damaged, obviously. But I'm gonna crack these open, show you what is inside each of them, and then we'll bust into the packs that come with them and see what kind of luck we have. Pretty legible coins. Some of them can be almost kind of hard to make out. Uh, I could kind of actually pop this out, not too bad, actually. Almost fully, certainly a lot better really quick. So it's got like a, kind of a weird card in it. It's kind of like an information card about the Manaphy, which of course is the character on the cover of it, giving you the height and weight of him. If you were ever curious to know that he's one foot tall and averages 3.1 pounds, there you go. And then of course the packs that you can find inside are Shining Fates, which were quickly becoming some of my favorite boosters to open out of the Sword and Shield sets because there's so many opportunities for interesting rare cards uh, in a tremendous variety, which I really appreciate. Okay, so next up is the Celebi. So the coin is the same, unfortunately. Information card, in case you were curious, Celebi is two feet tall and 11 pounds. Information you never knew that you needed until now that you know it and you're so glad you know it. And the Kyogre is probably the one that I'm looking forward to the most. Here's a closer look at the top. Just because look how pretty that is. And now that there's information cards, I bet you always wondered how big this whale of a Pokemon is. Not as big as I would have thought. 14 feet 9 inches and 776 pounds. I would have pegged him for being heavier than that, being how big he looks uh, compared to other Pokemans, but that's all right. If you say so, Nintendo. All three of the coins were the same. That's disappointing. I don't know if there's... A lot of times when they have things like this, the tins and whatnot, there is at least two different coins you can find in them. So maybe I was just unlucky and got the same one all three times. I'm not sure. But at any rate, we have six Shining Fates to open up. And I've had some good luck lately with Shining Fates. So even though it's only six, I feel like we're going to have a hit. I can feel it. I'm actually super pumped right now. I really feel the hit coming. I feel it, feel it in my bones. Fire Energy, start us off. Rusted Shield. Floatzel. Thwacky. Coughing. Cactus Guy, Kosselafer, Snom, Trapinch, Boom! I told you! What did I say? Now, I already have this Ditto V. I do already have this one, but it is one of my favorite Vs out of the Shiny Volt um, cards that you can get. So that is an awesome pull to start us off for our first pack. And then there was a, a blah, 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 can't even talk. And then there was a Clamoranth VMAX behind it. That's how you start off with your boosters. I need two sleeves. That's how you start off. Two sleeves. But that is how you start off. Still searching for the big ditto. That's the main card that I'm looking for still in Shining Fates. But there's plenty of good cards in Shining Fates that I have not 
snagged yet. So I'm looking forward to And you know what? My good vibes aren't done. I, my vibes were correct, but they are not done. I feel more. I feel like we've got more coming. It's going to be a good one today. My neighbors have super loud hip-hop in the background. Maybe that's going to help with the good card vibes. Hey, look at that, actually. That Dadeen is really nice. I will definitely take that. Very cool. And then the Thrival. I do like the Dadeen though. I can't remember if I have this Dadeen or not. I don't think so. I don't think I do. Let's get you guys another code. Fire energy start us off. Rotom, Eldegross, Tropius, more cactuses, Horsey, Kufant, Chudle, Yanmon, and boom! Grimmsnarl, V, and what's behind him? A Zerdu, which that's okay, but boom! Another shiny vault. That dude is looking. Very snarl. Living up to his name. Obviously, it's hard to remember, like, your entire collection at all times off the top of your head. That's why we use various tracking stuff. So I use an app to track mine. But I'm, like, 90% sure I haven't pulled him yet. So I will take it. Boom. There's your code. Fighting energy to start us off. Rusted Shield. Rotom. Cramorant. Choodle, getting tired of seeing you. Eevee, can never get tired of seeing you. Nicket. Horsey. Snom, I, I got a reverse for Team Yell Tower, which I know I've had that plenty of times. And a Yen Mega, which I also already have. Two more to go. Tell you what, six boosters, and I've gotten two Vs and a VMAX. Actually, that's just out of four. I have six total. So we're doing A-OK -okay so far. Boom, code. What do you know about that? Clean your foot, Stella. Nice and clean foot. Here, come here. Come here. Yeah, good job. Yeah, it's a good job. Lightning energy to start us off. It's our tricks. Luxio. More of these guys. More Peko, which I really like the artwork on this one, by the way. I've talked in earlier episodes about how there's certain cards that could be common or uncommon that end up being some of my favorites, and that is one of them. I love when cards have other Pokemon in them. And they're being interactive and stuff. Nice, uh, nice shiny card there. Another shining vault. Uh, shine, yeah, shiny vault card, and a Celebi for the rare. <laughs> Stella's being super cute. Mm -hmm. How's she doing? She's laying on the floor, just staring at me and wagging her little tail. Mm -hmm. She's staring at me. But I'm happy to see you too. All right. Boom with the code. Last pack of the day. It's already been good. But we have, we could have that last pack magic. We had first pack magic. Can we also have last pack magic? I am looking forward to finding out. Last pack. We got the more computer. Last pack magic. Okay, so we got a reverse for Lucio and a Manaphy. Not so much. Interestingly, though, we did pull two out of three of the characters from the tins. We just didn't get uh, Cryogre. So, coincidentally, we got most of the tin characters. But anyway, so there you go. 
Shining Fates. We got uh, we got a couple of the Shiny Vault, uh, you know, like more regular guys, which I'm always happy to get. But two Vs, including the Ditto, which is super cute, and the Grim Snarl, which is anything but. And again, we got a V Max with the Cramorant. So pretty good for just getting six packs, if you ask me. So my verdict on the tins is that they're totally worth it because they're Shining Vault and or Shining Vault because they're Shining Fates and Shining Fates uh, are just a lot of fun. And I know that a lot of the times when you pull these V's, you know, it's exciting to pull a V, but like a lot of times they're not that they're not worth as much because with Shining Fates, there's so many V's uh, and rare cards that they kind of become less rare, right? So a lot of these cards are not super valuable. We're talking like two, three dollar cards, but that's okay because it's it's exciting it's still exciting to pull those v's and that's why shining fates is so much fun and i have a lot more shining fates to come we'll be doing a lot more shining fates down the road but there's also a lot to do still with battle styles so i got to keep mixing it up uh as well as the champions path like the three that you see in the background here and all sorts of other stuff so there's a lot coming down the pipeline so if you're not already subscribed do so now, click the bell icon, that way you know exactly when more stuff is to come. I've got some live streams planned as well for openings, and those are going to be a little bit longer. Obviously, the videos are a little bit shorter, a little snappier, but for the live stream, we're talking like two, three hours of just solid opening up cards, uh, and that should be a lot of fun. So make sure you got the, especially the bell icon for those live streams, otherwise you get a notice like an hour after the stream started, and You've already missed most of the fun. So thanks, everybody. I appreciate the view and support as always, and I will see you in the next one.